40, six inch. It's what happens will happen to either player when they come in on a poor approach shot. If you don't have enough pace on or you don't get it deep enough. Both these guys have the power and the ground strokes to really punish you. Two. Head to head. Last meeting was at Indian Wells, March of 1990. Not to take anything away from Andre Agassi, but Boris Becker had been going through a real tough time. He was breaking up with his longtime girlfriend at Indian Wells that week, and he was not in the greatest frame of mind. The best match I've ever seen these two play was two years last year, Davis Cup in Germany. Agassi up two sets and serving for it in the third. And Becker made one of the great, brilliant comebacks I've ever seen. Both players played tremendous tennis. And I think that's Boris Becker's greatest strength coming into this match, that he has so many good mental souvenirs of coming back, fighting back from way down. And on the other side, Andre Agassi has had some real tough losses, having been up ahead. Becker likes Agassi. He said, I think he's good for the game. And he said, when I beat him that very tough Davis Cup match that you referred to, Mary, he was, he was one way. And when he beat me later at Indian Wells, he was the same way. A sportsman. And he appreciates that. Three games to two in the first set of this semifinal. Three two. These players have very different stances when they start their serve. You notice Boris Becker on the left of your screen is, has an open stance. His back foot is more towards Sit the sideline to, to play. his Thank chest. Anything. Agassi's back foot is back the other way. His is a closed stance, harder to pivot Anything, and get around. Please. I think that affects Agassi's serve. The Becker serve, the front part of the body is already out of the way, so he can really put the power into it. This is either a good guess or good anticipation by Becker. That's a heck of a shot, the lob volley. I guess he makes, wants to make the highlight film here. Not recommended shot for you at home. <laughs> Not if safety is a factor. Fertino. 30 love. All week, Agassi has been breaking serve very well. He's broken 52% of the time against his opponent's serve, so more than half the time. You can break serve in the men's game. That says a lot. It happens a lot more in the women's game. What a 
great defensive lob by Agassi. He hit that thing 40 or 50 feet up That's in the it. air. What he's trying to do is buy time. He has no chance to make a passing shot. Becker thinks it's going out. Whoops. And then he guns it way over the baseline. Becker did not set up as if he thought the ball was going to be good. He never did get ready, did no, he? No, but it was a wonderful lob by Agassi. Right in the corner. On the defensive lob, that's when you hit it high in the air. It's not important that it goes in the corner as much as it is deep because your opponent has time to set up, get around it, and you know, set up to smash it. But if you can get that ball deep, you have time to recover. You keep him way far away from you, and you have a chance to stay on the point. Oh! And on a windy day like this, you know, get it up high and don't, don't try to aim too close to the sidelines either. Let the wind play around with it. Game to Becker. It's three all. Let's go back and make a correction, Mary. We alluded to this match earlier. Yeah, I was talking earlier about the fact that uh, Becker was very much off his game in this one. We had shown that it was Becker, in fact, who'd beaten Agassi in straights. It was the other way around. That was uh, back in the springtime when Agassi straight set it Becker. For the first time in four tries. In 88, Becker beat Agassi at Indian Wells. That was a different deal. Three all in the first set. 15. This was not much of a volley by Andre. He didn't put any sting on it at all. See the head sort of fell back from his hand and that gave Becker one more swing and that's dangerous when you're playing the best people in the world. You get a high volley. Normally you try to put it away where the guy can't get his racket on it. In these rallies, I don't get the feeling that Boris is trying to get it to get in. Do you, Mary? I get the feeling he's just going to stay back and try to rally and try to out hit Agassi. Mm -hmm. I've seen three out of four of the matches these two have played, and in fact, Becker never tries to serve a volley against Agassi. He always sits back and waits, look, looks for the windows and the point to attack. But when you're looking to get in, you normally play a little close to the baseline. You don't get back four, five, six feet behind the baseline. <laughs> Thank you. 